You're listening to Prophecy Prophecy Talk Talk with with Erica Erica Gray. Universal basic income, or citizen's income, gives money to every family across the nation as a form of social security or welfare that one would receive without working. It is being promoted because of our living in a technological age where it is estimated that robots will replace humans and where up to 60% of the workforce will be automated. With not enough work to go around, the solution is basic income. It is being touted by France. It is being touted in France by Bernard Hamon, a French socialist candidate. Recently in July, Hawaii launched a basic income bill by Democratic State Representative Chris Lee towards a U.S. basic income program. Hawaii would be the first state to run the experiment on U.S. soil. He cited an Oxford report that said that by the mid-2020s, robots will replace 50% of all jobs. Finland launched an experiment, and according to The Independent, Governments around the world are embarking on pilot studies to evaluate its potential. It is becoming known and talked about among intellectuals and tech gurus. Mark Zuckerberg of Facebook has officially called for universal income. What does the Bible say about universal income? Second Thessalonians 3.10 states, If a man shall not work, he shall not eat. Proverbs 6.6, 6, go to the ant, you sluggard, consider its ways and be wise. Genesis 3.9, by the sweat of your brow, you shall eat. The Bible is talking about work. In Proverbs 31.13-16, we see a woman who is industrious and she is a worker. She seeks wool and flax and willingly works with her hands. She is like the merchant ships. She brings her food from afar. She also rises while it is yet night and provides food for her household and a portion for her maidservants. She considers a field and buys it. From her profits, she plants a vineyard. Basic income diametrically opposes God's laws and is the opposite of working for a living. According to the study in Finland, those receiving the income experienced less stress and a greater incentive to work. I personally doubt the validity of the study. This is the new bandwagon of liberals and how far it will go, we are not sure. It is another sign of our being in the end times. Universal basic income, an abomination, all because of the dawning of the coming technologies. We know that during the tribulation, the Antichrist is going to change times and laws. Who knows if this will be one of the changes he makes by instituting universal basic income. According to Daniel 24, it states, He shall enter peaceably even into the richest places of the province, and he shall do what his fathers have not done, nor his forefathers. He shall disperse among them the plunder, spoil, and riches, and he shall devise his plans against the strongholds, but only for a time. Could dispersing among them the plunder, spoil, and riches be talking about universal basic income? We won't know until the tribulation, but it surely can fit. According to Daniel 7, the Antichrist will think to change times and laws. When the Antichrist changes times and laws, can universal income be one of these? It is a possibility because universal income defies the laws of God and actually fits the scriptures predicted in Daniel. It is unbelievable to see a development such as universal basic income that can fit in with the predictions of Bible prophecy during the tribulation. For more Bible prophecy news like this, subscribe to my channel, Prophecy Talk. It is unbelievable that we are at a place in time where we're able to see a development such as universal basic income that actually fit 
with the predictions of Bible prophecy during the tribulation. And for more Bible prophecy news like this, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Prophecy Talk. Folks, we are getting close to the start of the tribulation in which the revelation judgments will be unleashed onto the world. These end times are difficult days, and if you do not know Jesus as your personal Savior, now is the time to know him. Jesus closes the book of Revelation, declaring, Behold, I am coming quickly. John 20, 21 records, These things are written, that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing you may have life in his name. John 3.15 promises that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Trust in Jesus today. He lives, and he is returning.